Hello and welcome. Now we are here with transportation problem maximization case. The transportation matrix given here is of a company having three warehouses and four different marketplaces. But instead of giving per unit transportation cost of the goods, we have been given with profit per unit in rupees. That means if we sell one unit from warehouse 1 to market A, the profit will be rupees 12 per unit. If we sell one unit from warehouse 1 to market B, the profit will be rupees 18 per unit and so on. Now the problem is, basically transportation problem deals with minimization cases. The entire process of solving, the algorithm of solving transportation problem is basically for minimization objective. In case of profit, it is obvious that the objective is maximization. Then how to solve a maximization transportation problem? The process is very simple. I dare to say that the same process is to be followed. But first we have to convert the maximization problem into a minimization problem. That's all. And then we can solve the problem in the same way as we solve any other minimization transportation problem. Now the question is how to convert a maximization transportation problem into a minimization transportation problem. We have to introduce a small step in the beginning of the solution which will convert the maximization problem into minimization problem. And there is no need to prepare opportunity loss table. What is opportunity loss? From the highest profit or in case of sales, sales value or in case of revenue, the revenue value, all values are to be subtracted. That's all. The result is opportunity loss and the transportation problem has now become the problem with minimization objective. So we just need to prepare opportunity loss matrix or opportunity loss transportation table and for that purpose we have to subtract all the values of profit or sales or revenue from the highest one. Let us do it and then we will solve this problem according to the minimization technique. Yes, 25 is the highest value. So 25 minus 12 is 13, 25 minus 8 is 17, 25 minus 14 is 11, 25 minus 18 is 7, 25 minus 7 is 18, 25 minus 3 is 22, 25 minus 6 is 19, 25 minus 10 is 15, 25 minus 11 is 14, 25 minus 25 is 0, 25 minus 18 is 7, 25 minus 20 is 5. Now this is the opportunity loss matrix. Yes, and in case of opportunity loss, our objective is minimization. Profit can be maximum if the opportunity loss is minimum. So now this has become a minimization problem. What is the interpretation of all these values or opportunity losses? If we transport one unit from warehouse 1 to warehouse A, we shall have a loss of rupees 13 in our profit. Because if we transport one unit to D, the profit is 25. Instead, we transport it to A, we will lose 13 rupees from our profit. This is the simple interpretation of opportunity loss. So if we want to maximize our profit, we need to minimize our opportunity loss. So if we convert the profit or sales or revenue matrix into opportunity loss matrix, the problem becomes the problem of minimization. So now, in this table, this is the transportable, transportation problem with minimization objective. And now we can solve this through our Vogel's approximation method. In the next lecture, we are going to find its initial solution through one. That's it. Thank you very much.